Okay, so the WeWoods AI Paper Mini is an excellent e-reader and note taker, but you need some apps to have the best reading experience on it. And I have already, as you can see here, installed Book Fusion and Storytel, the two apps I use most for reading, but of course it also needs co-reader to be able to sync with, for example, my Kobo e-readers and my Kindle e-readers. So in this video we will install co-reader on the WeWoods AI Paper Mini. Of course this works on also the normal big large AI paper and also on all others Android tablets and Android smartphones. The same procedure for all Android devices. So let's wake it up like so. I take my glasses and from here we start our web browser. And from the web browser you search for co-reader github. Co-reader github. To find the co-reader github page you see that at the top. From here we scroll down to find the co-reader text and we find download here. By the way, we can change the refresh rate to have it a bit faster. Fast mode, for example. It's uh, more a pleasure when scrolling web pages with a faster uh, refresh rate. If you have a lower refresh rate, it's better for reading books, but when on browsing the web, you need a, a bit faster. So you can choose three different refresh modes on the VWoods. Fast mode is uh, hopefully enough. So here we have the latest release of CoReader. So now just scroll down to find all the different files to choose from. Here we have them. As you see here, we have different files. You should find them that says Android. And you should always install Android ARM64 on uh, uh, modern Android devices. So click on that to download it. You see, now it has downloaded and now I open it. So now it says that I should install it. Uh, more details, choose that. Scroll down to install anyway. Uh, this is for safety because some apps can have viruses and so on. But the co-reader GitHub page is a very safe website for open source co-readers. So you have no problem installing co-reader from GitHub. By the way, you should never install co-reader from an app store. So if you have an alternative app store where co-reader is, don't install that because that is a more dangerous to install than from co-readers on GitHub page. And also uh, such uh, versions is always not the, the same version as uh, the open source co-reader. They are behind when it comes to features, some plugins doesn't work and so on. So you should always install co-reader from their own GitHub page. So now we can open co-reader. That is how easy it is to install uh, co-reader. Now it uh, needs to be allowed to access my files. Just click that and then go back again. Sorry for that. We need to choose co-reader again. So task manager and then co-reader. So now opens co-reader. Documents will be rendered in color on this device. <laughs> if you have a device in grayscale, you can disable color rendering in the screen submenu for reduced memory usage. That is one thing you should do on a black and white e ink e-reader. So go to the 
screen sub menu for reduced memory usage. So we go up here and go to settings and we go to the screen. We turn on uh, color rendering, turn off that like so. We should set that to off as you see there. So now it will be render everything in black and white instead. Much better. I don't have any books yet, so let's go to the top here and connect to my Calibre server. Let's see if it works immediately out of the box without doing anything. You choose Calibre and then connect because if you have set up Calibre correctly, some devices can find the Calibre server uh, immediately. I have uh, one device that didn't do that, so let's see if this device can connect to my caliber. It needs to have a f home folder first, uh, so let's choose that first. Let's say ebook could be my home folder, so long press on that and choose ebook as the home folder. Now it should connect, as you saw there, it connected to my Calibre server. Now you don't see this because I have videos showing that for you, but uh, now I will find a book I want to transfer. And you don't, if you want to see this, just search my YouTube channel for Calibre uh, and co-reader. We take that one and send to device. So now I have sent that book and you saw that I have received a book. So if we go to my library now, you see that if we go to home, uh, I have set, set as home folder for this folder too, set as home. The same folder as, as the books are sending from Calibre. As you see now, I have the user manual from uh, VWoods. I have the book I've sent, Kanin Jäger, Lars Kepler, and a letter from uh, VWoods in the same folder. So now when I click home, I will always go to this folder with all my books. And it's the same folder that Calibre sends books. So now I can open, open this book that I want to read. And by the way, you see some ghosting here. Uh, so you can easily do this to remove ghosting. Uh, once again, <laughs> co-reader opens that menu when doing that. So that is not so good maybe, but now we have co-reader, we can go into the book itself and to find the text, to do some adjustments. Let's do adjustments from here. We can go here. And we go to left and right margins. We can set 10, 10, it's uh, great, set as default. We have top margin and bottom margin. I want to have top and bottom to zero often. Uh, apply and set as default, because that will be in all books then. We can now go to rendering mode. We have web, book, flat, and render mode. I usually choose book. You see the difference here? You see that? Uh, basically, you can choose what you want, but uh, I do this and set that as default. Line spacing, I usually have a lot more than it is now, 110 maybe. Let's see if that's enough. No, even more on this device. Maybe 120 then. 
like so. Well, for now, maybe I set that even larger later on. Set as default. We have uh, font size. Uh, maybe I will decide for another font too, because uh, I usually use another font. But let's say we want to have 28 on this large device. Maybe 26 is better, like so. Uh, set that as default by long pressing on it and set as default. We have word spacing medium, word expansion none as default. Uh, we have contrast, I usually set max 15 and default. I usually do that. Uh, font weight, you can decide if you want to have any bold on the text. Uh, for now, I set just a bit like so. Maybe that's enough. Set as default for the moment. You have font hinting auto and best on font carning. Here we should set embedded style on, but embedded fonts off. Okay, why can't I do that? Set as default. Okay, image scaling best as default. Now let's wait until it has updated all your settings that you have done. Soon it will mirror all your settings for this book and all other books because you have set it as default. As you see here the margin is very tight down below but we can change that later on. So let's uh, go up in this menu while it's working. Okay, now I think CoReader has uh, it has hanged. Let's close it. Hmm, that was not good. CoReader should not crash. I don't like that. Maybe all my settings was... Oh, you see, that's not good. Well, I will not do this in this video then, because... Uh, I will not do that once again. Because... It will take too much time for this video. So uh, you saw what I did first time. You can do that yourself. But up here you can also change font and so on. You can change the font from uh, uh, all the fonts that are installed. And I haven't installed any fonts yet. So not much to choose from, as you see. You don't have so much to choose from, sadly so. Uh, so I have uh, Noto Serif as the default so far. Uh, we can also do style tweaks and style. Style tweaks, usually pages and margins. Ignore publisher page margins, I usually do as default. Use on all books. And I usually use the text alignment, justify all elements, justify most text. We can do justify all elements as default, use on all books. Center headings, sometimes I do that because it's nice, but sometimes I don't. So let's choose that this time and set it as default. Uh, text direction, I don't need to change. Hyphenation, allow, no. Uh, font size and families, we have already set. Uh, we can ignore publisher uh, font sizes. I use on all books. Uh, like so. Uh, okay, as you see, you can do a lot with uh, 
go read it and fix the status bar with all the info you need and all that. But I think this will be enough for this video this time. You have other videos on my channel to show everything you can do with uh, CoReader. I have a lot of tutorials there where you can see what I do and change in CoReader. Go check my CoReader playlist on my channel so to see everything you can do with CoReader really. Uh, I have a lot of tutorials about CoReader. Okay, bye.